everybody. Hope you had a uh, good weekend. The uh, weather took a turn for the worse over the last uh, few days after a very waterlogged day on Friday, the third wettest November day on record. The cold was the story over the weekend. The cold was the story again today, and the cold will continue to be the story for the next several days. When we look back at the last 31 days, high temperatures compared to the average, uh, we were well below average for a handful of days just after uh, we got past the first half of October. But then after that, it was warm, 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 warm for the rest of October and the first 10 days of, or 11 days of November. The last two days, though, over 10 degrees, cooler than the average. Yesterday, it's high of 38, the coolest daytime high since late March, and we were one degree cooler than that during the day. Today, we're in a cloudy season, and boy, did today fit the bill from roughly November through March. Uh, our region tends to be one of the cloudiest across the lower 48 states, and there's usually a big uptick in cloudy days between October and November. October is actually much sunnier than usual, but we are paying the price with a very cloudy <coughs> stretch taking us through this week. Let's talk about some good news, if you squint hard enough, uh, because the weather is not offering a lot of great news this week. Our sunset this evening was at 5.04, coming up in three weeks. We hit the stretch of earliest sunsets of the year from December 5th through the 10th. The sun will set at 4.53, but then the sunsets will start getting later. We're only three weeks and five days away from <clears throat> the sunset getting a little bit later. It's the first sign of spring, right? Middle of December. All right, let's talk about uh, the cloud cover, uh, which has been persistent, of course, all day today. Notice... On the southern edge of this uh, view uh, across the region, the, the clouds are starting to thin a little bit south of Pittsburgh. Some clearing of the sky will take place for a while this evening from south to north, allowing temperatures to drop a handful of degrees. And then clouds will build back in as we head towards daybreak tomorrow, and temperatures may actually start to rise again as we head towards daybreak. We will have another one of these kind of fast-moving, weak waves of low pressure pushing uh, eastward across the region tomorrow, and well, I'm not expecting big impacts. It's going to make for a gloomy second half of the day. Tuesday, between 1 and 3, I'm expecting to start raining, and maybe even some wet snowflakes initially, but wet snowflakes may become a little more common by the end of the afternoon and into early in the evening, especially in western PA. Might be enough to make for some reductions in uh, visibility, but not expecting impacts on the roads for most of us, so things should just be wet. Just kind of a gloomy and, and dank second half of the day on Tuesday. Wednesday, a lot of clouds, no surprise. <clears throat> Not a lot will fall out of these clouds. These will be pretty unproductive clouds on Wednesday. Maybe a, a rain shower or two, especially in the afternoon. The bigger weather impacts for parts of the lower Great Lakes will come Wednesday night into Thursday. As this trough of low pressure pivots across, it's going to activate the lake effect machine. And Wednesday night into Thursday morning, a few bands will try to get down into our area. Now, not expecting big accumulations here locally, but I think this will refocus out across the I-95 corridor for a time Thursday and right through parts of the upcoming weekend. So this could be kind of a, a multi-day snow bonanza for places like Buffalo, New York, and up towards Watertown, New York, downwind of Lake, Lake Ontario. Erie, PA should do pretty well uh, as well. Even some of the far eastern suburbs of Cleveland will probably see enough to shovel and plow, but in our TV viewing area, we might get grazed by a small accumulation late Wednesday night, Thursday morning in parts of Mercer County, maybe parts of Trumbull County, but for the most part, this is going to be no big deal in our TV viewing area. The bigger deal, the temperatures, way below the average, of course, for the next several days. And if you watched weather for, <coughs> pardon me, Weather Geeks last week, I talked about how the pattern is going to try to moderate as we head towards Thanksgiving. I still think that's the right idea. A heat wave? No. But the core of the cold will actually come late this week into the start of the weekend with a moderating trend as we head towards the Thanksgiving holiday when our average high is in the mid-40s. Quick look at the Euro weeklies tonight. This is the twice-a-week modeling that goes out 46 days, produced by the European Center. And we're looking at kind of week ch or seven-day chunks here. And you'll notice how the cold fades as we head towards the end of the month, even the start of December. And December may actually start out pretty mild. Not sure the degree of the warmth at this point, but I would expect early December to have a different flavor than a lot of the second half of November. Now, the Euro weeklies have been kind of uh, hinting for a while now that the second half of December will see a return of colder risks. December may play out kind of similar to November. A mild start, perhaps a much colder finish. We'll be talking, of course, in great detail 
about uh, the winter forecast, which includes December this Thursday. We'll do a special edition, if you will, of Weather for Weather Geeks on Thursday. Look for a uh, detailed, <clears throat> long video uh, talking all about the why the winter forecast is what it is. And as a reminder, if you're looking for the short to the point version, that'll be online earlier in the evening, just after the six o'clock newscast. That'll be the three minute version I do on TV, but the much longer version with a lot more detail and kind of geared towards the weather geeks, but also geared towards maybe uh, you have a, a, a plowing business, maybe your, your livelihood depends on weather uh, and weather forecasts as we go into the winter season. You need more detail than you're gonna get on a TV forecast or an app forecast. That'll be the video for you posting in the same place as you're watching this video coming up on Thursday evening. In the meantime, I'll leave you tonight. Have a great rest of your Monday night. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here on Tuesday.